but it's not fair. Yes, I know it must seem that way to you, Mildred, but your cat, Tabby, is an absolute disgrace. No, he's not. Hanging upside down on your broomstick, screeching and yowling. He just doesn't like flying. A serious handicap for a witch's cat, don't you think? Harriet Goodcharm has transferred to Pentangles Academy, where, for some benighted reason, they have owls. Leaving Ebony here for you. She'll sit up nice and straight on the back of your broom. So you won't crash quite so many times. We hope. But I love Tabby. He'll be fine in the kitchen with Mrs. Tapioca. We're off to stay with Rowan Webb tomorrow, as you know. You don't want to disgrace the Academy. Any embarrassing incidents, do you, Mildred? No, Miss Cackle. Now, don't get upset, Mildred. Tabby will have the time of his life in the kitchen. All sorts of goodies down there. And you'll have the time of your life at Rowan Webb's Riverside Retreat. And a well-behaved cat. I shall always love Tabby, no matter what you say. He's not brave, and he's not clever, and he's not black. But he's my friend. My special friend. You indulge that girl, Miss Cackle. We all do. We spoil her. And that's why she's the way she is. It's hard room. Yes, headmistress. A word, if I may. Mildred, what happened? What did she want you for? Where's Tabby? They took him away. They... What do you mean? They took him away. They took him away. Stress, Miss Cackle? Stress. Where do you keep that noise down out there? I really don't know what you mean, Headmistress. It's called burning up, Miss Hardbroom. I mean, out. Burning out. Sudden fatigue. One minute you're charging about doing 13 things at once, next minute, zap, flat on your back. You fit the profile in this book perfectly. Brewing up for trouble, the curse of the workaholic witch. When did you last take a holiday, Miss Hardbroom? I don't approve of them. We all need to rest. I sleep most nights, six hours at the weekend. I want you to take a break, Constance. I want you to come on holiday with us to Rowan Webb's Riverside Retreat. Mildred Hubble and the second years. It's hardly a holiday. I'll have no trouble swimming in the river. I've got a medal for diving and life-saving, and I'm quite the expert at the crawl. And the creep. Oh, look, here comes Sulky Socks. I don't know what she's so desperate about. The trip is in her honour. Yeah, the wacky wizard's little favourite. <laughs> Just stop it, you two. Lily? We know you're upset about Tabby, but you can still enjoy the holiday. Thanks, Maud. Good morning, girls. Good morning, Miss Cackle. Good morning, Miss you will be wondering, no doubt, why I am dressed for broomstick flying. That is because, at Miss Cackle's request, I shall be coming with you. I'm glad to see you all looking so pleased. Pay attention, girls. Because we're going on such a long journey, we shall need to put our feline friends in their cat baskets. Off you go now and collect your cats. Take off in ten minutes. Not even Maud. Now, listen, I've got a surprise for you. But you must be ever so good and ever so quiet. Shh. I told you. 
told you, Tabs, be quiet. I can't concentrate. Mildred, you're drifting off course. Just follow the river. Ethel, see what's going on. There's something about you, isn't there, Mildred? Even cats like Ebony go berserk when they fall into your clutches. It's her cat, Miss Harbroom. Mildred, what on earth's the matter with Ebony? Um, tummy ache, I think. I'll take a look at her when we get down. Reduce height, girls, and head for that house. They're here. They're here already. Enough's enough. Merlin Langstaff, at your service. Flopping. On behalf of my master, the wise and wizardly Ryan Webb, welcome to our humble home. Come in. Come in. First, leave your broomsticks over here. Mrs. Apprentice, you got the job. I wouldn't have applied if you hadn't encouraged me. What's it like? Great. Miles better than wizard school. No more bullying from Baz and Gaz. No. I get bullied by Ryan Webb now. Piffle and poppycock. I only beat him twice a day. He's joking. I am indeed. Miss Cattle, Miss Hardbroom, welcome to my new home. Come in, come in. Come in, do. Make yourselves comfortable. As you know, we've only just moved in here. <laughs> Come in, girls. Make yourselves at home. My able and intelligent apprentice wizard, or should I say apprentice lizard, <laughs> will see to your every comfort. Now, shall I release your cats? Uh, not yet. Let them rest and acclimatise. In your bedroom, perhaps, with a few fresh sardines for company? Now, how about a little tasty something for our human guests? <laughs> a little excessive, perhaps, Merlin, but uh, we'll let it pass. Strawberry cheesecake. So thoughtful. And such a wonderful house. So full of atmosphere. It's older than it seems. It's been empty for years, of course. Has it? People around here are terrified of the place. Yeah, stuff and nonsense, Merlin. The tale they tell is that it was first owned by a dragon lord and then by a powerful wizard who banished the dragon to a cave by the river. <laughs> Don't worry, girls. Nothing there now but snakes and lizards. They're harmless. I'm sure. But what happened to the wizard? He was out one day sailing on the river when a sudden storm arose. His boat capsized. He fell overboard. Helpless, he was swept down the rapids and over the fall. His magic chest, however, no, uh, oh, <laughs> not his rib cage, his box of tricks and treasures was swept into a rocky island where it was jammed fast against the rocks by the current. <laughs> Strongbox rocks, they're called. You can see them from further down the bank. Of course, the treasure was never found. But one aspect of this story is certainly true. The river has many moods. There are white water rapids downstream and sheer falls below. So have a paddle and a swim by all means. But the boat by the landing stage is strictly out of bounds. Come 
on, Lily, there's Camben next to mine. No, there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for trying, Eunice. I'll stop if you like. No, it's OK. There'll be more space over here. Why don't we get our cats out of their baskets and give them some exercise? I bet Ebony won't even look at a mouse. Not after her dreadful indigestion. Is she better now, Millie? She's making an awful racket. Yes. I think I'd better take her to see Miss Cackle, just in case she really is ill. I'll come with you, Millie. No, there's no need. We could go for a walk after, down by the river. I'd rather be on my own, thanks. See you, Maud. See you, Millie. She's up to something, I know she is. Well, I wish she'd let us in on it. She's been acting really strange, not quite with it. It's ever since they took Tabby off her. You're joking. She's always like that. The day she starts being wide awake and on the ball, that's the time to worry. Keep your nose out of it, Ethel Hallow. The way you and Drusilla pick on her, it's no wonder she's in a state. <laughs> Oh, Tabby, you're going to be stuck in this cat basket all week long, unless I can find somewhere to hide you. No, you're scared enough of mice as it is. I can't leave you in a cave with snakes and lizards. It's all right, Tabby. Don't stop. I was just practicing. It was wonderful. I come here quite often. It's full of magic. You can feel it in the walls. It's a great place for spells. Don't worry, it always does that. It's hollow behind here, an underground stream or something. Everything's come right for you, hasn't it, Loppy? Brilliant. But not for you, eh, Millie? He hasn't taught you to read minds, has he? No. It's written all over your face. Something's bothering you. And it's to do with that basket. I am your friend, Millie. I know. So, are you going to tell me or not? All the things we've done together, all the adventures we've had, you'd think she could trust us by now. Maybe she's gone off us. Maybe she's found a new friend to have fun with. Look, down by the river. What if somebody sees us? We're out for a walk together. So what? We'll be well hidden from the house once we're on the jetty. You're sure nobody uses it? Positive. You heard what Ryan Wope said. It's out of bounds. What about feeding him? I'll put by some scraps from supper and make sure there's extra kippers for breakfast. I'll be busy running around for Ryan Webb, but you'll have plenty of chances to smuggle stuff out to him. He can run around inside the cabin and peep out of the porthole. Look, Tabby, you're going to be a ship's cat. Maybe I'm not such bad luck for you after all. say, headmistress, that one does not enjoy the feeling that one is under constant observation. Paranoia to a T. And then there's making extra work for yourself. If the girls are to have a potion test, who will set it for them? Oh, I... And who will end up having to mark it? Yes, but I... Overload, followed by hyper-stress, followed by burnout, Miss Hardbroom. Flat on your back by the end of the week. The signs are all there. Really? Yes. But good management will save the day. Tomorrow, we shall relax by the river. 
As your headmistress, I am ordering you to, um... Chill out. Quite so. <sighs> Very well, headmistress. You won't regret it. I hope not. Right, Tabs, in you go. See you after breakfast. Here she comes. You're a pearly milly. I went for a walk. With anyone special? No, to look for Ebony. Have any of you seen her? No. What if she doesn't come back? Oh, she'll be back. I'm sure she'll be back before we go home. Do you want us to wait with you? Or would you rather be on your own? No. Yes. Where are you going? Breakfast. I expect you'll get double portions, if your friend Loppy Lux has anything to do with it. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Sit down, please, and dig in. There's fruit and cornflakes and toast and marmalade. Go on, girls. Hurry along. And eat as much as you like of whatever you like. Where's Mildred Hubble? Oh, sit down, my dear. Now, Merlin. Go easy on the kippers, Merlin. <laughs> Listen to me, girls. I just want to remind you that no one is to pester Miss Hardbroom, who is from henceforth officially off duty. Yes, yes Miss Cackle. Now, juice anyone? Yes, anybody. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Freshwater River, there's a definite seaside smell around here. Like rotting fish? Mm. Sort of. It's been around all day. It's been getting smellier as it's been getting warmer. It's coming from over here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at our broom. Look at that. No stockings. She's got legs. She's got shades. She's got personal service. chance to give Tabby his kipper yet? No, too many people around. He must be starving. Go now. I'll keep your friends busy. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, Mildred. And where might you be off to? A stroll. I've got a bit of a headache. I think you're up to something, and it's to do with this boat. All right, I'll tell you. I was planning to borrow it, to take a trip. Maybe down to Strongbox Rocks, to look for the wizard's treasure. Mildred, are you completely insane? What about the rapids? Oh, yes, of course. I've forgotten about that. Thank you. And you stink of fish. I sat on a kipper at breakfast. You're right, it's a mad idea. You've saved me from myself. I'll go back now with you and have a wash. Come 
along, girls. Time we were heading off back. Yes, hurry along now. There's time for half an hour's study before lunch. No need for concern, Constance. I'll see to it. Mildred, Ethel, Priscilla, there you are. Come along. You just relax. Take a stroll or a nice broomstick ride. We'll see you later. <laughs> Shall I go back and help her? That's very kind of you, Ethel. Come along, go! Well, well, well. So I did hear the cry of a hungry cat. Mildred Hubble. Sorry, Miss Cackle, but this is something I cannot ignore. Whoa! Listen, you can hear him. It's Mildred's moth-eating tabby cat. All that nonsense about sitting on kippers. She must think I'm stupid. Why don't we just tell on her? Because this way she'll tell on herself. Did you manage to feed Tabby's kipper yet? No, I bumped into Ethel and Drusilla on the way and had to... Excuse me. I had to chuck it on the deck. I'll go back and give it to him later. You'll have to be quick about it. The boat seems to have accidentally gone adrift. What? With a scruffy looking tabby cat on it, like the one you were supposed to have left in the school kitchen. I'm going to tell Miss Cackle if I were you. Otherwise, you might end up like the wizard in the story, swept down the rapids and over the falls. <laughs> 